Welcome back. Before we take a look at the day's business news, let's take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. International financial magazine Global Finance has ranked the National Bank of Abu Dhabi for the fifth consecutive year in its world's 50 safest banks. NBAD remains the highest ranked Middle East bank in the list. Global Finance's annual ranking is a recognized and trusted standard of credit worthiness for the entire financial world. According to Emirates news agency WAM, the group's CEO, Alex Thursby, was quoted saying that the continuous inclusion of M NBAD among the world's 50 safest banks reflects our disciplined strategy and ongoing focus on long-term sustainable growth. Global Finance selects banks for the list through an evaluation of long-term credit ratings from Moody's, Standard & Poor's and Fitch and total assets of the 500 largest banks worldwide. Emirates Airlines has announced the launch of non-stop passenger services to Taipei, its 16th destination in the Far East. The service will commence from the 10th of February 2014, initially with six non-stop flights per week to Taipei's Taoyuan International Airport. The route will be operated by a three-class Boeing 777-300ER, equipped with eight private suites in first class. Taipei is famous for producing and exporting electronics, textiles, plastics and rubber, optical and photographic instruments and chemicals. Emirates representatives believe that the new route will open up new trade opportunities across the Emirates network, as well as support business and tourism travel to Taipei. Casio is the latest brand from Japan to establish its first sales and marketing office in Dubai. It has been supplying products to countries in the Middle East through sales agents since the mid-70s. In 1994, a representative office in Dubai has been set up to function as a point of contact for its customers. Today, with a capital of 9 million dirhams, Casio Middle East in Jabal Ali Free Zone is scheduled to commence sales and marketing operations from October this year. Company officials stated that initially the facility will be responsible for six Gulf countries, adding that through this new office they intend to reach out to other potential growth markets while contributing to the region's economic as well as cultural development. We have established our office in Jaffa, just a free port. Of course, this is important, especially for the uh, you know the African market. Eh? The, uh, it's not so much coming up, but some areas we see a lot of potentiality. And if we see the uh, some of the cities, important cities, a lot of you know the shopping mall is coming up. And a lot of you know, brands are coming into it, even though that, that might be a, still the beginning part. I see a lot of potentiality. So we should be also establishing that kind of base. But the, you know, we cannot open up uh, office in Africa yet. But the, through this Dubai, this is very good you know, the connectivity. So this could be a good entrance. Responding to consumer needs, Casio officials say they are committed to deliver more innovative products from scientific calculators to cameras, musical instruments and more. With the UAE's consumer electronics industry estimated to reach 15.8 billion dirhams by 2015, according to the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry, JAFSA officials say this latest addition to the 7,000 companies in the free zone further cements Dubai's position as the gateway to the region. The first company that, ever, that came to Jabal Ali was a Japanese company. And since then we have grown more than, more than 130 companies. And we continuously do that year in year. We are in Japan as a team every year speaking to the big brands and as well as small and medium enterprises. And our latest successes were uh, to be able to, to attract uh, Casio to open their headquarters. Dubai sells itself very well to multinational companies and, and, uh, and Fortune 500 brands uh, to see it as the platform for its logistical and distributional needs into the whole region. And the region to us is the Middle East and uh, Africa as well as CIS countries. 
Abu Dhabi Ports Company's flagship Khalifa Port has set a new record handling more than 81,000 TEU containers in July 2013 alone. According to Emirates News Agency WAM, the monthly figure is the highest in the history of the container handling in the UAE capital. ADCP says the transition of its container operations from Abu Dhabi Zayed port to Khalifa port has contributed to the growth of operations. In the first half of 2013, Abu Dhabi's ports received 18,100 ships carrying more than 4.6 million tonnes of general cargo.